Hey guys, it's Devin from Adventures of the V's. I just wanted to stop in, talk to you about a few things that we had going on. Uh, the first thing is recording from a new Panasonic Lumix G9 camera. Uh, that was quite the upgrade for us from the old Canon 60D. Basically much more portable micro four thirds system so it's easier to take on hikes. Uh, has little bitty lenses like this is a little 12 to 32. Um, basically I got three lenses and it covers what five six of my old lenses did and they're the size of one lens. So awesome little upgrade there. Um, also upgraded a couple other cameras as far as Davies had the Hero 7 Black for a while um, that she's been primarily using. But then I also found a killer deal on a GoPro Session uh, 5, one of the little square ones, that I've been wearing a little more when I go mountain biking and that sort of thing. So that's that's been exciting. Um, recently just got back from doing the Bentonville trip. We had originally planned to ride the Back 40. However, due to weather and some of the stuff that was going on, we ended up hitting Slaughter Pin again. Uh, went down for two and a half, three days basically. Really only got one day of riding, but killer time. Um, which is kind of where this video is focused, is on some of the mountain biking we've been doing lately. So while I was in Slaughter Pin, I did a pretty good sized drop. Uh, probably a three and a half foot, maybe three foot rock to flat drop, um, which is not something I had done. I had done some smaller jumps and that sort of thing before, but the drops were always what kind of spooked me a little bit. So, ended up doing the big rock drop and then came back to Kansas here and decided that we needed to hit a local trail, um, Wyco Lake, where I have had some issues with a drop a time or two. So. Out there, there's about a foot and a half drop, maybe a little smaller. Um, has a little lip to it, so it's kind of jumpy, but then there's a big rock right in front of it as well. Uh, I had basically punked out on this thing probably three, four times. Never gone off of it. Randy had done it once before, Caitlin's dad, uh, but I never had. And so we decided we were gonna go out there since I had done the bigger drop in Bentonville and kind of conquered that fear, we decided we were gonna go hit that thing. So, went out there, hit it right away. Um, felt good about it, so then we did it, you know, three, four, or five more times. No one managed to wreck on that drop. However, Randy did get a little loose on the second, not very big drop, and met some bushes and then I wrecked out trying to avoid Randy's bike. So, neither one of us came away with any injuries, um, but we had a good laugh about that. So, definitely made some strides there and had a good time riding. I'm still trying to figure out the GoPro and how to mount it on this chest rig that I got. I got the uh, Stuntman chest rig for it. But a lot of my videos end up just showing the stem of the bike and are horrible to watch. Uh, you get a quick video of that just hitting the little downhill section that we hit at Wyco and then I cut out of it but uh, so if you got any suggestions on how to make that GoPro video a little better with that chest rig I'm all ears um, but that's that's the biggest thing that I'm struggling with right now is trying to get that video decent for you guys instead of looking like trash so I hope you guys enjoy the video. I hope everyone's doing well, being safe, and washing your hands. So, have a good one.
nailed it. <laughs> Maybe, what, foot and a half? Yeah. Foot, maybe? 15 to 15, 16 minutes. This right? little guy just punked me out probably four, five different times. At least three. So today though, it has not punked us out. This is our third or fourth time hitting it. That's three. Yeah, so this will be our fourth time. Doing a lot better off of it this time. Thank you. 